Welcome to part two of our Scandi Tips and Tricks video series. In the first part, I showed you how you can capture a great scan using Scandi Pro and some of my favorite tips and tricks for getting that perfect scan. Today, I'm going to be walking you through how you can edit a scan right inside of the app itself, and it's gonna make you look like a 3D pro. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started using the scan that I captured in the last video. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna just open it by tapping preview. So you guys are able to follow along with me. You can see there that there's a lot of extra information, and that was my arm as I was scanning it. So it's actually really easy to get rid of all of this. So you just come down to the bottom of your screen and scroll all the way over and click on Edit Mesh. So there are five different options for editing the mesh inside of Scandi Pro. You have Decimate, Smooth, Auto Clean, Fill Holes, and Crop Plane. When I am editing a scan, I like to start with Auto Clean first. So just click on that and it's gonna get rid of all of that extra noise and there it's all gone. So now it's much cleaner and it's only focusing on the subject that I want it to focus on. But I don't like that I can see the table that I was scanning on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop that next. So you come over to the right and you click on crop plane. Just drag it a couple of times. You'll see this big red line that comes across the screen. So the plane itself doesn't move, but you can move your scan around to orient it to that plane, however you want to. So I'm going to just tilt it up a little bit, rotate them just a little bit more. And then I'm going to move up my crop line so that it crops right underneath that plate. Uh, if you have fat fingers like me, it can take a little bit, but there we go. And the plate is gone just like that. Okay, so the next thing I like to do is fill holes. So if you zoom in, there's a couple of giant holes like the one in the top there on his ear and on his shoulder. The app does not have the ability to fill in those very large holes, but, oh, I think I see one there on his forehead that is much smaller. Yep, right there. So I put it in the center of the screen to make this really easy to see. So you just go ahead and you click on fill holes and the app fills in all of those small micro holes for you to just make your scan that much cleaner and your mesh that much nicer. All right, the, last, the next function we have is smooth and you can use that to just kind of soften a lot of the features on your scan just makes it a little bit nicer and prettier and then the last function is decimate so if you can see in the top right hand corner of my screen it shows that this mesh file is currently 16.4 megabytes that can be really hard for some computers to process and some phones so you can decimate that to reduce the file size and the best way for me to show you how to do this is by showing you the wireframe mesh. So there's three functions on the side of your phone and the middle one is going to apply the wire mesh. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom on in here. The wire mesh is made up of lots of these small, tiny triangles. When you decimate that, you're going to just be reducing the number of triangles that make up your mesh and therefore reducing the amount or the size of your scan. So you just go ahead and click on decimate and I'm going to do about 50%. So I click on that. Now the scan is a little bit large, so it might take a second to process. The larger the scan, slower that the editing is going to be. And now the mesh is applied. And as you can see, the triangles are much larger and the size of my scan is dropped by about 50% to 8.1 megabytes. If I turn off the wireframe, and you can see visually there's not much of a difference to my scan. Now let's say I wanted to just take this all the way to weird. Just go ahead and do 100% hit go. It's going to take a second, but it's going to use very few triangles and you're going to end up with this pretty abstract looking bear. So you can't undo edits here, but what you can do is if you're not happy with any of the edits that you have done, you just click X and it won't save them. But if I like my super weird looking bear, all I have to do is hit save and then I can either save it as a new or overwrite it. And I'm just going to go ahead and save as a new file. So if I back out now and I scroll up to the top, there is my brand new bear. And look at that, it's point 
four megabytes now that there's so few triangles involved. So that is how you edit an app or a scan inside of Scandi Pro. I hope that this series has been extremely helpful for you guys, and we'd love to help you out more with being able to get these great scans or create really cool 3D content. If there's any kind of video that you would like to see, go ahead and post it in the comment section down below. We are really ramping up our video schedule and our content production, so we'd love to hear what it is that you would like to see. And also, do not forget to like and subscribe so that way you don't miss any notifications and you're always up to date with things going on at Scandi. So I look forward to seeing you guys around here soon and I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.